Hi and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be more like a quick tip and this is on how to go back into Camera Raw once you've already opened your image to make adjustments. And also duplicating that layer to where you can make individual adjustments. It sounds confusing but let me explain. This is something I just recently learned and I really wish I knew a long time ago it would have been so helpful. But now that I know it, I can use it to my benefit, and so can you. So I'm just going to bring in a random photo here into Camera Raw. Now usually, you would make your adjustments here, whatever uh, white balance you want, and all your different levels. I'm just going to do random stuff. We'll just click Auto for the sake of this. And usually you would click Open Image. That would bring it into Photoshop, and from there you worked on the image however you wanted. But if you hold down shift, you can see it says open image. I hold down shift and it changes that to open object. So while holding shift, we're going to click that. And basically what that does is it opens it as a smart object in the Photoshop, which means any changes we make down the road, um, we'll just throw levels real quick. Let's say you make this change and you'd rather go back and do something else in camera raw you know this might not be the white balance you want well usually you wouldn't be able to but now that we've opened it as a smart object you just come back and double click on this little image preview in that layer and it brings us back to camera raw and it gives you full customization of all these different settings that you would have originally on the go so you can make your changes and click OK and now that layer changes with it so that not only allows you to go back and make changes but it also allows you to duplicate that but it duplicates differently uh, you want to go onto that smart layer you created with your original image right click and go to new smart object via copy what that does is it duplicates it but it keeps it a smart object or smart layer if you will and now with those two layers you can adjust them individually so I'm just gonna go in and it works the same way you double click on the image preview on whatever layer you wanted to work with I'm gonna do something drastic just to demonstrate so make it obviously blue we'll click OK uh, it takes a little bit longer to process because it's a smart object but that's not an issue but as you can see it's all blue but this layer underneath it if we hide the blue layer here is left untouched which means if I wanted to go back into the, this untouched one and make it red and click OK it's gonna adjust that one independently so now you have two layers or possibly more depending on how many you duplicate of fully customizable camera raw layers and uh, let me just go ahead and undo that and the good thing is now that these are layers you have all the options you would with any other layer you have your blending modes you can set it to overlay uh, you have the ability to use opacity and blend it together and this is just something that it really brings a whole new level of customizing um, some people may already know this but for whatever reason it just slipped through the cracks of my knowledge all this time and now that I have finally learned it I'm going to be using it a lot and I definitely wanted to make sure everybody else out there knew about this feature because it saves a lot of time and a lot of regret when you get halfway through an image and realize you should have used a different white balance or you know bumping the blacks up might have worked better when you try to add a different kind of contrast later so this is just something to keep in mind and I hope it helps out please add comments suggestions questions all of that in the bottom I'm always looking for new video ideas so that would help also you can find ways to link with me through social networks Flickr Facebook all that fun stuff that's all in the description and until next time